Hello everyone, my name is Dinesh Krishnan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the producer and consumer template in Apache Camel framework. Let's start an example. Yeah. So we already have an application for Camel. Uh, the, I mean, we already have a payment project that has a Camel dependency. Let me create a new class. So new class. So that that's class. I'm going to name it as. Uh, producer and consumer example. I'm going to put them into the com dot Dinesh Krish dot example three package. Give a finish. So you can see the new class, new class is created here. So let me add a main method here. So generally the name itself actually producer and consumer template. So what is a producer and consumer in the sense like a producer is going to uh, produce something. So that means typically that's going to send something to the endpoint and consumer is going to receive something whatever sent by the producer. So that is the very simple idea behind it. Okay, let's let's achieve with the program. So, so first of all, you know, we all know that we have to put a camel context, camel context, context equal to new default. Camel context. Right. So now let's add a route. Camel context dot add route equals to new route. But so let's take the class. Okay, we have to override the configure method. So that actually want us to throw or handle the exception. Let me throw the exception as of now. So what I want to do here, I just simply want to send one message to the endpoint. So the same message will be sent to what you know, another endpoint. So whatever message is sent to another endpoint, from that endpoint I want to receive the message. Okay, so that's an idea. So let's let's create a two, a different endpoint. One is for from endpoint, another one is a to endpoint. The first endpoint is direct dot start. That's my endpoint. The second endpoint is cda dot end. So if you look at it, I'm using two components. One is oh sorry, it should not come any yeah. No, no, so no semicolon. Yeah. The first endpoint it's about direct component and then start. The second endpoint it's about cda component and the end. So both are actually what you know inbuilt component in the camel. So we can actually make use of as part of our producer and consumer example. Let's con let's create the producer template first. Producer, producer template, p template, producer template equal to context dot create producer template. So that will give you what you know the producer template instance. So producer template dot so what you want to do, I want to send some message to this endpoint. So what is the message? So you can send it by using send body message. You can see there is a one more method is available. So which takes endpoint as an argument and the object that you want to send. Okay. So what is my endpoint? My endpoint is direct dot start. So what is the message I would like to pass? So that you can send it. I would like to send the message. It's something hello everyone. So what what we what we are doing it now? So we just created the producer template. The producer template trying to send the message to the this endpoint. Okay. So once our message reaches this endpoint this endpoint will send will 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 send the message to this endpoint so so this endpoint is going to receive the message from this endpoint i would like to receive the message by using the camel producer i mean by using the camel consumer template so let's create a consumer template consumer template consumer template equal to context dot so it so context dot create consumer template. 
Now I would like to receive the message. Obviously, the message is consumer template dot. We have a method called receive receive body receive body. So here we can give the endpoint URL and what kind of object that you're going to receive. Right, the class type itself. So what is the endpoint here? So we are sending the message to this endpoint. This endpoint actually sending the message to this endpoint. So ideally this endpoint will have the message. We would like to consume the message from this endpoint. So you have to mention seda dot seda colon end. So what type of message? I mean since it's an object, but we are passing what you know string as string as an argument. So string type. So you have to specify what type of object that you are expecting. String class type. So that will give you the string object, string uh, I mean an uh, you know, object. So you can put it, you can store it in a variable, or you can simply print that. You can do it. So what we done, you know, we just created the camel context. We added the router. We defined the router. What the router has to do, direct and end. So we created the producer template. We sending the message to this endpoint. So that is actually sending the message to this endpoint seda colon end. So we are consuming the message from this endpoint. So that is what you know this producer and then consumer template actually does. So obviously, I mean, I forgot to do one more step. You know, we have to start the camel context. So to do that, you know, start camel context. So let me run this example. We'll see what is going to happen. You can see that. The producer template sends the message to the uh, the direct dot direct colon start endpoint, and consumer template actually consume the message from the c dot colon end endpoint. So thank for watching.